Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's fur video, day 10 will take us to the 13th of September, which I think is Friday the 13th. Uh, oh dear. Do, do, do. Um, and we'll be able to stand out beyond that with it said CFS at these seven ensembles. Maybe run throughout a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 for the next four weeks. Gets us to the end of September. And I shall get time back for you in a moment. So uh, just say that first. The video is there. It's our 6 a UK weather forecast. And if that wasn't enough, we've also released the extended European outlook as well. The EC30 there. So check out those two vids. If you'd like to do that, like, share and subscribe on all today's videos of content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We've put around 15 one five subscribers to get ourselves up to 18.7k. Very, very close to our next 100. We've been 18,000 now. So if you could give us a sub, tell your friends and family to subscribe. It'd be absolutely awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And uh, you can help to support the channel as well by becoming a channel member for Gareth's Web for uh, £4.99 a month. You can uh, sign up by clicking the join button and you will get exclusive perks and content, including early access to some videos, particularly the NEO forecast that we release every summer for the uh, coming winter. And there'll be a once a month channel member live stream that you'll be able to access as well. And it does help to support uh, Gals Webby. So again, click the join button. See what you can get for £4.99 a month for becoming a channel member. And hello and thank you so much to all of our channel members for uh, the support uh, for the channel. And also to uh, say that you can super chat on the live stream or super thanks in the comments on the videos. And there is also our PayPal page as well. This is the is paypal.b page. You'll find the link to this in the description. So just come to the PayPal page, sign into your PayPal account. And that you can uh, donate whatever you want to go as well. As you will get a shout out in the videos as well. To show to everybody for doing that. It does help to pay for um, the channel. You know and pay for me to be able to do this. So thank you so much to each and every one of you for the support. And for doing that. Right let's start the video. Then. Gonna have a lot of thanks so much everyone. Let's start the video. Central and the team. It is beginning to sit down. After that very, very hot first day. Um, we're still really warm, though. We're still at 18.9, which is uh, 5.3 degrees above 61 to 99 average at the visual to yesterday. to the 2nd of uh, September. But that's already started to come down. And that will come down further over the uh, next uh, few weeks, of course. <coughs> So sorry, everyone. Means of a GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles next couple of weeks. We're at Milton Keynes today. Suggested location for this part of the video. If you'd like to have your local town or city featured within this part of the video, you can uh, ask us through the comments or email us at galsworthersgbell.com. Ask on socials, and uh, we are very happy to do that. So, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Milton Keynes. We're starting off. Around to still a little bit above average at the moment. The upper air temperatures mode will be coming down to be slightly under par by tomorrow. However, they lift back up again through the second half this week and into the weekend before there's a general slide in the upper air temperature taking place through the second week of September and up to the middle part of the month. That's more noteworthy than. Um, the temperature, though, the upper air temperature, is precipitation. Check this out. Lots of precipitation spikes come, and rather large precipitation spikes as well. So all of a sudden, it looks like we could be heading into quite a wet spell here for southern parts of the country anyway. Any time from about uh, um, Thursday, Friday onwards through the weekend, and into uh, next week. They have some pretty big precipitation spikes there. And even after that, it looks like it's quite unsettled. So maybe we're heading into a wet September here. The turn up of the book net. Do, do, do. Won't say any more. Temperature anomaly. Behave yourself, Gab. Temperature anomaly. It's from the 30th to 11th of September coming out slightly above average. Still looks pretty warm, doesn't it? Not as warm as it has been. Precipitation anomaly is quite interesting. So, northern and western regions are looking significantly drier than Norman, including northern England, Scotland, and Ireland. But central southern parts of England, down to northern France, looking very wet in uh, the weekend. That's quite an unusual pattern. Latest we back from Earth, no school dot net shows that we've got low pressure uh, between Iceland and Norway up here, with high pressure out 
in the Atlantic winds are becoming um I can't start to uh, come from a cooler, fresher west or fresh direction as we clear out the um, warmth and the humidity. Look, how it past several days. Uh, right, let's go from chart day to then. This is our UK UK, mate. You're right. It's looking big diet on Friday. Low pressure to the south. High pressure is to the north, to the northeast. We're bringing an east wind, which is warm easterly, but with this low pressure coming in, from the south of the east, there could be a lot of heavy and fungy rain across southern and southeastern parts of the country at the end of the week and into the weekend. Well, through the weekend, that low pressure then moves away to the east. We start to turn the wind into more of a northwesterly. Still looking pretty warm with the upper air temperatures of big night on Monday, but by the time we get through to big night on Tuesday, we're pulling in northwesterly to northern wind and autumn into sending men. Look at me drop in the upper air temperatures. That's become quite chilly for zero Celsius iceberg moving into the north. So wet and then. Autumn descends. Um, I can't, looking like that. So, once again, we're pulling in the wind from the east on Friday, which is a warm, humid, easterly wind, probably making less of below to the south over the uh, weekend. So, probably not quite as wet with Icon to the south over the weekend. Uh, we end up by kind of looking like that, bringing in more of an easterly flow again. Um, upper air temperature probably a bit cooler, but still generally relatively warm, I think, with that one. And I've got the KMA again, low pressure south, high pressure way to the north, northeast. In comes those easterly uh, winds. The low pressure always threatening heavy, fungy rain to the south and to the southeast. Meanwhile, the north and west looking quite significantly uh, drier, this pattern. Um, and then high pressure building out to the uh, north, in the Atlantic, up towards Greenland. Low pressure dropping in. So just increasingly unsettled and cool and autumnal, really. Sick week of September with the uh, KMA bears that low pressure starts heading in. <coughs> <coughs> There we go. So, sorry, everyone. Right, GFS, midnight run. How's that one looking? Again, low pressures to the south and to the southeast on Friday. High pressure uh, towards Scandinavia. Winds in from the east. Look at how this low pressure pushes up through the weekend. That could bring a real deluge to the south over the uh, weekend. Meanwhile, the north would be still relatively dry. Into next week, those uh, areas of low pressure get out of the way from the south. We build a ridge out to west, pull in. Pull in a much cooler uh, northerly. Look at the upper air temperatures, autumn descending there. That will produce some chilly, chilly nights. We could, if this comes off next week with these northwesterly to northern winds, we could have a very, very entertaining CT collapse. Um, uh, next week if we start putting off some uh, cold nights in particular. Uh, still with our anticyclonic influence though with the GFS uh, midnight run. So dry but cool really as we head up towards the middle part of the month. Again, up there, so much cooler compared to how we started the month. And then the ridge gradually gets broken down as we go to the extended range and low pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic. What about the GFS 6 there, by comparison? Again, low pressure to the south, bring a real deluge potentially in the south. We, meanwhile, the north has got a dry and warm weather. So low pressure could bring some very wet conditions into some parts of the country over the weekend. And then into next week, that uh, those low pressures clear out of the way, and low pressure starts dropping in from the north, from the northwest. Then, so still unsettled through next week. But the difference is, it's more towards the north that wet weather uh, will be, and also the temperature starts to do a bit of a plunge as well. The upper air temperatures shouldn't away all of the heat, humidity into central east parts of Europe, and we pull in much cooler air from the northwest. Autumn descends next week. Look at that, very autumnal by the 15th of September with low pressure right over top of the country. That's a dark board low and plenty of wet and windy and uh, cool weather in with it as well. We end up looking like that, trying to build a little transient ridge in, but we've got to watch out for this low, which I think is for rains, tropical storm and or hurricane around the Azores. That could, uh, you know, cover our way 
will give us more unsettled weather through the third week of September. If you enjoyed the video, and these charts are looking very interesting, I have to say, quite untypical of uh, what we've seen in recent Septembers, maybe. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe, and show everyone for doing that. Drop a comment and so what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Brothers. Get them to subscribe to, as I say, 15 one five subscribers will get us to 18.7k. Uh, please give us a sub, tell your friends, and fans subscribe. It's amazing, it's incredible. We thank you so much for doing that. GM, again, with high pressure to the north and low pressure south on Friday into the weekend. This low pressure gradually pushing up from the south, possibly bringing some very wet weather to some parts of the country over the weekend. Then next week, that low pressure heads off towards Germany and Italy as another low drops in from the north and that pulls the wind around into a northwesterly upper air temperature become much cooler autumn descends with Jeb through next week check out those upper air temperatures that will produce some really chilly nights I have to say perhaps not quite as wet through next week as some of the model output is looking you know still with high pressure just out to the west but it certainly is a lot cooler with those northwesterly to northerly winds and we've got the ECM looking like this so again low pressure to the south and also to the southeast on Friday Low pressure pushes up from the south over the weekend, potentially bringing a deluge to England and Wales. And then the low pressure clearing out to the east, turning the wind into that cooler, fresher, northerly, northerly direction to the second half of next week. Bit of a northeasterly actually there with the ECM. And upper air temperatures, as with all the models showing, uh, models today show that autumn descends next week. This is the uh, precipitation forecast based on that East Shem Road from TheBestShow.com. So still a bit showery, spongy chop at the moment. That could clear out the way and uh, we'll get rid of that. But then we start generating these heavy downpours across England and Wales with the second half of this week, which could actually merge into longer spells of thundering rain. We could have a very wet spell down across the south, actually, an unusual pattern. But a very, very wet spell could be setting up here for the south at the end of week and into the weekend. Repeated bouts of either heavy rain and thunderstorms or longer spells of thundery rain. And uh, even into the beginning of next week, this is uh, continuing. But gradually we get rid of all of that wet weather as we freshen things up through next week. Turn the wind into the northwest. There will still be showery bursts coming through with those north northeast winds. But the big difference will be the drop in the temperature. These are the options on the table. Then the ECM ensembles today for day 10. The Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 13th of September. 20 members of the ECM ensembles have a ridge in the Atlantic heading up towards Greenland and a trough over to the east of the country and that brings the wind in from a north north east direction so cool and wet 18 with low pressure right over top of the country that's been very unsettled as well and 13 with low pressure more, more towards the north east high pressure out to the northwest so that's more sort of showery really but uh, quite cool with winds coming from like a northwesterly or northerly direction. Two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets to the 18th of September. 11 members of the ECM on summer's bear with high pressure over to the east, high pressure out to west. That will bring bring back some warmer air from the south again. We've got 10 with uh, low pressure heading in from the Atlantic. That looks quite unsettled and a bit cool. We have got 9 with high pressure blocking around Greenland and low pressure in the Atlantic into France. Wind will be coming in from the northeast direction. West weather is in the south with that. We've got 8 with high pressure over Scandinavia and uh, winds coming in from a warm easterly direction with that. We've got another 8 with low pressure in the Atlantic being unsettled dishes in from the west. And then we've got five with high pressure between Iceland, between Greenland, Scandinavia, it does include Iceland as well, <laughs> and low pressure to the south. That will bring wind in from the east and will be most unsettled in the south. I have to say a lot of those options are looking pretty unsettled. Uh, well, we're all looking unsettled, really, at uh, day 10, and a lot of them looking unsettled at day 14. So, as I said, we might be shifting into a wet September here. And then the CFS V2 uh, looks like this. He's a 500 millibar high tide breakdown to week periods. First week period takes us, takes us from the 3rd to the 9th of September. So, um, what am I doing? It'd be uh, next week, <laughs> I 
uh, high pressure to uh, the north and low pressure to the south. That brings the wettest weather course into the southern part of the country. The north, meanwhile, should be mostly dry with winds in from the east. Week two looks unsettled in all places. It's the 10th to the 16th of September. We have a low pressure through the west of Europe. That's going to be cool and quite unsettled. Week three will be the 17th, 23rd of September, and low pressure around heads in the Atlantic. High pressure is away to the northeast, so we bring in bring in a westerly flow. Um, still looking quite unsettled there. And week four, though, <coughs> shows a change. It's 24... <coughs> dear, my voice is going. There you go. 24 to 30 of September. High pressure through the west of Europe. A lot of dry weather would be likely there, or drier weather anyway, and um, should be a little bit warmer as well, maybe. No, it's four weeks away, it's a long way off, last week September, and I've got a lot of weather to get out of the way before that, I think. Right, we're done. Well, if you've enjoyed the video, if you like, share, and subscribe, I think so, Bird for doing that. Drop a comment, let's say, we think about this and all of our videos and content, and don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Boys, get them to subscribe too. It is amazing, and it's incredible, and we thank so, so Bird for doing that. Right, so let's have another channel tomorrow, going to, to, to have the 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, where we, we will be live, actually, by the way, at 6 p.m. We bring back Wednesday live streams, now that the evenings are drawing in, so um, 6 p.m. will live stream by 10 to 14 day uh, and uh, i shall see you therefore on the channel tomorrow live at six looking forward to that yeah enjoy the rest of your tuesday and for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching